continuing from my last video when you're increasing by a percent uh, uh, what you have to do is so this is increased by 10 percent so if you want to find the factor is you have to the factor here would be 1.10 okay so so what the formula is 1 plus uh, the rate R divided by 100 would be the factor. So what I'm saying is, uh, you can say, uh, you can if you divide by 1.1, when it's an increase of 10%, uh, you'll get this. So let us look at question number 3. So we are saying this, a certain amount, you know, we want to find the original amount. Say we'll say the original amount is A, and that increased by 4%. Okay, so here the I can say question three. Uh, let me delete it first. So question C is a uh, four percent increase, and the final amount is twenty nine thousand four hundred and eighty four. So so I can say question three. I can write like this. So the question three would be a four percent increase. So let me write this four percent increase, and the final amount is twenty nine thousand four hundred and eighty four. Okay. So yeah, I would say okay. So yeah, the factor would be one plus four divided by hundred is the factor because you're increasing by hundred percent. Let me write 100 properly. So this is 4 times A. That's the amount A is equal to 29,484. So this is 1 plus, uh, this is 1.04 A is equal to 29,484. So if you divide both sides by uh, 1.04, so A is 29,484 divided by 1.04. So we need a calculator for that. So it's 29,484 divided by 1.04. And all the examples will check the answer. So that is 28,350. So the original amount OA, original amount is 28,350. So the question is, so we let us check our answer. So basically, if this is the original amount, if you add 4% to this, you should get this. So 4% of 28,350 is uh, 4 out of 100 times 28,350 which is 0.04 times 28,350. So again, calculate it out. So many run 0 0.04 times 28,350, which is 1134. Okay, so let me write that. Let me remember that 1134. So uh, 28,350 plus 1134 uh, would give you, uh, so again, let me show you on a calculator. I keep deleting it. So 28,350 plus 1134 is 29484. That's what we wanted. So that is 292984. Okay, so our answer is right. Okay, so you can give yourself two smiley face. Okay, let us look at the next question. Next question is, there's a decrease of 40%. So here, let me put this as B. Oh. So let me get the pen out. So this is B. B is reduced by 40% and getting $20,100. Okay, something. That was the value of a... Uh, machinery suppose B is a machinery and it decreased the value of the machinery decreased by 40 percent and the current value is 20,100 so you want to find the original amount so here 
when it is increasing you add the factor so you can say the question is 40 percent decrease the question is 40 percent decrease and the final amount is 20,100 so you want to find the original amount you want to go backwards so will I say uh, if it was one if it was one dollar I'll try to explain this one dollar it has become 0 0.60 dollars one dollar has become 60 cents okay so <clears throat> My, now the question is if you have you want to go backwards so if you if you have if the value is 20,100 not 20,000 20,100 so if you have 20,100 what's the what's this amount okay so I can say from 1 if you want to get 0.6 what should you multiply 1 times what gives you 0.6 so we can say well that is 0 0.6 okay 1 or 0 0.60 1 times 1 times so this is the amount so let me write that as say b so this is what we want to find okay so when i say 1 times 0 0.6 gives me 0 0.60 okay 0 0.60 is same as 0 0.6 so b times 0 0.6 should give you 20,100. Okay. So if you divide both sides by 0 0.6, so b is 20,100 divided by 0 0.6. So 20,100 divided by 0 0.6 is 33,500. So so the answer is 33,500. So always good to check your answer 33,500. So let us do 33,500. 33,500. We are seeing when it reduces by 40% decrease, you're getting 20,100. That was my that's what I thought that's what we are claiming so how to check you find 40 percent of this and you take away you should get this so let me find 40 percent of 33,500 I want to do it okay so let me do without so this is same as 0 0.4 times 33,500 so 0 0.4 or 0 0.4 times 33,500 is equal to 13,400. So this is 13, uh, this will give me 13,400, am I right? Yeah, 13,400. And then if you go 33,500 minus 13,400 will give you 20,100. So you have checked your answer. Okay. So let me do one more question. So yeah, when you're reducing by 40 percent, you what you did if you want to do it fast, one take away 40 percent, and 40 percent is 0.4. So this is what I'm saying. If you want to find the factor, one take away 0.4, that will give me 0.6. And then you, if, as you're going backwards, you have to divide 20,100 by 0 0.6. In this case, this is a decrease of 20 percent. So if I want to do fast, so 1 take away 0.2. Why did I do 0 0.2? 20% is 0 0.2, which is 0 0.8. So if you want to find the original amount, go backwards. What you do is this divided by 0 0.8. So I'll do very fast. Okay, so for question number 4 is, the question was 72 centimeters or 72 divided by 0 0.8 okay so 72 divided by 0 0.8 or 0 0.8 is 90 and you can do this off your head this is 90 percent uh, 90 centimeters not 90 dollars 90 centimeters and it does make sense say 10 percent of 90 is 9 centimeters 
so 20 percent would be 18 centimeters and then you can check 90 take away 18 is 72 centimeters so let me finish the last question very fast this is 80.75 is decreased by 5 percent so what would you take away uh, from 1 so 1 take away 5 percent is 5 out of 100 which is 0 0.05 so the factor is 0 0.95. If you want to go backwards, 80.75 divided by 0.95. So the last question, question number 6, I think so, is 80.75 divided by 0 0.95. Okay, and you can do your checking yourself. The calculator is here. Is, what was the question? 80.75. 75 divided by 0.95, which is 85. So the answer is 85. 85 dollars or something. Okay, whatever. So let me check. 85, 85 kg. Sorry. So it is 85 kg. So let us complete the work. So let us check. So what is 10 percent? Uh, so 10 percent. I'm doing it very fast. Is 8.5 kg okay and if you find 5 percent that's half of this so that is 4.25 kg and 85 minus 4.25 will give you 80.75 kg so we have checked our answer so we should be very proud and you can give yourself five stars see you in the next video